CBC, which is shown in the earlier chart, it's about a 50, 30, 20 blend of the three varieties. Uh, made in a Burgundian style, so it's um, barrel fermented, put through malolactic fermentation, aged on these in the barrel. Malolactic fermentation? Um, you've got lactic acid bacteria, which are bacteria, obviously, yeah. and they spend their life eating malic acid and turn into lactic acid. So what happens? <laughs> so what happens is, so what they do is they take malic acid, which is the main acid in apples, yeah. okay, so apple acid, and then they chew off the carbon dioxide molecule, and when it's left, what's left after the carbon, the carbon dioxide bottoms off is a lactic acid molecule. It reduces the acid and raises the pH, and it softens the wine. It's a lactic acid that's a bit softer than that. And, and it gives you sort of a caramelly flavour, but that, that, that actually, actually only is done in the shark, man. I don't think we're going to have this yet. Yes. If we can avoid it. Yeah. If we can avoid it. That's basically it. And, 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 uh, oh, sorry, one other thing that we're going to do is that when, when they're doing that, so they take this molecule, cut that off, carbon dioxide goes off, they give off its byproduct, a product, a compound called diacetyl, and that's the main flavour compound in butter. And that's why shark makes, for example, will often taste butter. Okay. It's not. <laughs> it's actually the same on it. There is some basis to that. Science there. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, we've got the 2010 and? 2011. 2010 is almost sold out. Uh, both because it's actually the show circuit, both wonderful complex wines. Not easy drinking. Uh, in the sense that easy drinking, like, what do you mean? It's the kind of zero It's a bit complex on the planet. They're not complex, you know, they're, they're quite, quite high alcohol. Full body um, after you've, after you've um, swallowed it, it's got a long palate. You know, it lingers, a bit, lingers in the mouth for 20, 30, 40, 50 seconds. Okay. You've still got these muddy characters in the mouth or something that's a, what you call an easy drinking wine. You drink it and it's sort of like a cheap beer as opposed to an expensive beer, it's sort of flavours gone and you have the next one. Whereas this is a bit more the same. And if it sits in the glass for a while and you squirrel it a bit, in 10 minutes' time, it's going to smell different and taste different to what it did. First open, so it develops over time, it develops in the bottle and develops in the, in the glass, and that's what the complex wine is supposed to be. Okay. And maybe, I mean, if you take the 2010, 2010 was the best in its class at the International Wine Awards. At the International Wine Awards, first competition, that was the best in its class. So, for what it's worth, I don't know what class it was. Full yeah. body, full body, wooden, white wine. Yeah. But, um, if you smell it, you immediately get a sort of a flinty smell to it, and that's when you, if you strike a match on a box, that sort of flint, and it's like a gunpowder thing. And then the fruit flavors come through, and that, that gives it this sort of, and the longer it sounds out, the more complex it becomes. It's nutty, it's, it's really the whole sort of aroma and the whole viscosity of the thing that actually yeah. makes it out. Well, this it's is an incredible wine. Yeah. It's also a certain amount of um, primary fruit characters that come through, and then secondary characters, which are these. What those two characters in the hunt just for the over, some of them also developing the bottle. And, and are you the only ones doing this CDC thing? I mean, because it's pretty much, you know, there might be someone else doing, there's a, other people doing a four, four blend, or four variety blends, and eight variety blends, and sixes, and things like that. But the uh, Shen being a show, and the one you wanted to do in the country, but yeah. it's not many. Hmm, because I've never really heard of it. Yeah. yeah. But Jason, it's sort of amazing. Yeah. In the next year, 2011, that was literally the best white bread in South Africa, which is amazing. So that was. What did you do differently? No, we did nothing different. Better judges. Better judges. Better judges. People are getting more educated and they appreciate things. That's the same thing. They get a couple more awards at the end of About six or seven awards. Yeah, but remember, once you stuck on the best in class in the world, we're used to come and borrow off. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. So, you know, 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 you stick on something. So, that's, that's what we have. So, and once again, you've got an amazing award winning wine, and, you know, at a price point, this one was just, what's the price? That's about 85 bucks. 85 bucks. Yeah, it's the website. Yeah, that's roughly what we need. I'm very much on the website show. Yeah, but it really, it's, it's a really, if someone has a good school, they might get into a complex wine. Yeah. If they want to spoil it, something you can sell, they should buy it. And what would you do with it? What's going to go on? What would you do with it? What do you do with it? What do you do with it? What do you do with it? Is it a plastic dish or is it more, you know, can you have it with meat? Is it with all of the meat dish present or something? Yep. You can have it with cheese. You can have it with pasta. 
scores from point one. Um, you know, all of those things in your typical uh, poultry, duck, and mm -hmm. red bean, all fine for all. I would almost go as far as to say that the all things that you normally associate red wine with, yeah. plus all those. If you like you can, if you like, if you like red wine, you, you should try that. But I, I must admit, I'm a bit, all this food cherry people get all very technical about it. Yeah. The bottom line is try not to avoid disasters. Don't have a really tannic wine with curry, for example. Yeah. Um, those sorts of things. Other than that, if you like the wine, you like the food. One thing that I did forget to tell you, that there is nothing, in my opinion, as great as a full loaf of shit with a sushi. There's nothing like it. The most expensive wines done, in my opinion, I, I've been in the way I'm looking at it. Is there a sushi out there in this place? Yeah, you go to the D, and my friends come with a lot of these top notch chefs, souvenirs from all different climates and all walks of the world. And it's just incredible. Then eventually, you know, it's very similar to Pinot Noir. All the bottles are empty. Shannon loves fun. She just made a big, big crawfish. Can't afford to cook it.